Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. The Oral Hygiene Index Simplified, or more commonly the OHIS, is the index of choice used to evaluate oral hygiene. It is often coupled with the DMF index as the index of choice to evaluate oral health. An index is constructed through accumulation of scores assigned to specific responses to individual items comprising the index. Indices are reversible and irreversible. The DMF index is an example of an irreversible index, while the OHIS index is an example of a reversible index. There are five basic requirements for a satisfactory index. These are, it must be quick, it must be simple and easy to use, it must be valid, it must be reliable, and it must be objective. The OHIS index has some specific advantages of its own. It can be used to quantify or put numbers to biological phenomenon. It can be used to measure disease level. It assesses individual improvement and thereby can be used to evaluate programs for preventive dentistry. The OHIS index has two major divisions, the debris index, or DI, and the calculus index, or CI. In this examination, we'll look at six teeth, four posterior, two anterior teeth. The posterior teeth in the four quadrants will be the first fully erupted tooth distal to the second bicuspid. The anterior teeth will be an upper incisor and a lower incisor. The debris index is calculated according to the amount of debris which is removed from the surface of the examined tooth. If this debris covers only the gingival third of this surface, the DI score would be one. If the debris covered the gingival and middle third of this surface, the DI score would be two. If the debris extended from the gingival into the occlusal surface of this tooth, it would be scored a three. If there were no debris, the DI score would be zero. For the CI score, we look for supragingival and subgingival calculus. If there is supragingival calculus only involving the gingival third of the surface, the CI score would be one. If there is supragingival calculus extending beyond the, inside, the gingival third of the buccal surface of this tooth, or if there is subgingival calculus in isolated areas, then the CI score would be two. If there is supragingival calculus, which extends from the gingiva into the occlusal third of the surface of the tooth, or if there is connected subgingival calculus around the tooth, then the CI score would be three. If there is no calculus, then the CI score would be zero. Now, to conduct a clinical examination for the OHIS, we would need two instruments. We need a number five explorer, shepherd hook explorer, and a mouth mirror. To begin, we will pick the tooth, the first fully erupted tooth distal to the second bicuspid on the upper right and examine the buccal surface. We, put our, we place our explorer on the most distal aspect of that tooth and run it along the buccal surface up to the mesial, keeping our explorer in contact with the gingival crest. And we examine as we run along the surface of that tooth just where the debris is. This particular tooth we will score as a one. The next tooth we will look at will be the upper right central incisor. 
Again, we will place our explorer on the most distal aspect of that tooth, keeping the point of the explorer, even with the crust of the gingiva, run our explorer along the labial aspect of that tooth, and we see that we had plaque in the, in, in the uh, gingival third of that tooth also. We will score that tooth a one. The next tooth we will move to will be the upper left first permanent molar. We will place our explorer on the mesial aspect of that tooth and run it along the buckle until we come to the distal contact, removing the explorer. We picked up debris on the gingival third of that tooth only, so we will score that tooth a one. Now we will move to the mandibular arch. In order to show it to you a little better, we will have the patient hold a cheek retractor for us. Okay, Jim, pull that back. And hopefully we'll be able to pick this up. On the lower again, we pick the first fully erupted tooth distal to the second bicuspid. On the mandibular arch now, we look at the lingual surfaces of the teeth. We place our explorer on the distal, on the most distal portion of the lower first permanent molar. We scrape our explorer along the lingual aspect of that tooth coming toward the mesial, keeping the tip of our explorer even with the crest of the gingiva. And we see that we had debris on the gingival third of that tooth. Therefore, we would score the DI portion of that tooth as one. All right, you can remove that cheek retractor. Now we'll move to the lower left central incisor, again on the lingual aspect. We place our explorer on the distal contact of that lower central incisor. We move our explorer along the lingual aspect, keeping the point at the crest of the gingiva. We come over to the mesial contact and we see that we have plaque on the gingival portion of that tooth only, so we will score that tooth a one for the DI. Now we move over to the lower right, first permanent molar, place our explorer on the lingual aspect of that tooth. So that we place it at the distal, rolling along to the mesial, and we see that we remove debris on the gingival third of that tooth, so the DI score for that tooth would be a one. Now the second portion of the OHIS index is the calculus index. Ordinarily, the CI or calculus index would be done in conjunction with the debris index. We would examine the tooth for the debris index then immediately return to that same tooth and do the calculus index. For the purpose of this presentation, we did the entire DI first. Now we will go back and do the CI, examining the same surfaces of the same teeth. So we'll go back to the upper right, first permanent molar, open gym, the labial surface, and we probe for calculus. Remember, we are looking for subgingival and supragingival calculus. If we find supragingival calculus in the gingival portion of the tooth, we score that tooth as a one. If we find supragingival calculus in that tooth, Extending to the middle third of that surface, we score that as a two, or if we find isolated pockets of subgingival calculus, we would score that as a two. If we find subgingival calculus completely circumventing that surface of that tooth, we would score that as a three, or if we find supragingival calculus extending from the gingiva into the occlusal third of that tooth, we would score that a three. The CI score for this tooth is zero. Moving to the upper central incisor, labial surface, we again probe the surface for calculus. We find no supragingival calculus, no subgingival calculus. CI score for that tooth would be zero. Moving 
to the upper left quadrant, first molar, we find no subgingival calculus, no supergingival calculus, so the CI score for that tooth would be a zero. Now, we'll move to the mandibular arch, examining the same surfaces of the same teeth that we did for the DI to complete our CI examination. Let's look at the OHIS score we derived on this patient. We scored our debris index of one for each of the six tooth surfaces examined. For the calculus index, we had four teeth where we found no calculus, two teeth where we found only a minor amount of calculus. Our total DI score was six. Our total CI score was two. We divide each one of these totals by the surfaces examined to get our composite score. We divide our six for the DI index by six, the six teeth we examined, and we get a composite score of one. For the calculus index, we divide our total of two by the six surfaces examined, and we get a score of 0.33. Our overall OHIS index score is the combination of the DI and the CI, which is 1.33. As a review for this tape, I would like to ask two questions. One, what are the two divisions of the OHIS? The two divisions of the OHIS are the debris index and the calculus index. Second question, what are the tooth surfaces that we examined for this OHIS? If you remember, we looked at the labial surface of the first fully erupted tooth distal to the upper right second bicuspid. We looked at the labial surface of the upper central incisor. We looked at the labial surface of the first fully erupted tooth distal to the upper left second bicuspid. We looked at the lingual surface of the first fully erupted tooth distal to the lower left second bicuspid. We looked at the lingual of the lower incisor. And we looked at the lingual of the first fully erupted tooth distal to the lower right second bicuspid. The OHIS index is the most widely used index for the evaluation of oral hygiene. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.